Hey, it's Christian here. We are in Koh Samui, Thailand. I'm gonna show you my Airbnb. Some people wonder, where do you stay when you are a digital nomad? Where do you stay when you travel around the world and go to different places? Is it comfortable? Am I gonna miss home? Is it gonna feel like I'm traveling on the time, like I'm on the road? And the answer is no, not really. And I'm gonna show you why. Let's check this place out. First things first, we got our scooter. You can get around town on one of these. You can be anywhere in minutes and it's super fun. Just cruising around drive on the left side of the road so you got to get used to it for a minute but it's not so bad it's kind of the downstairs we're gonna walk up the stairs i'm going to show you the place let's do it this is the outdoor pool if it gets too hot come out here take a dip take a break from work we got a nice work table out here too it's been a little rainy but today is beautiful and sunny so we're gonna hop inside and see where the magic happens when it's raining. So this is the main living area. We got the living room here. Got a nice little TV set up. You can hear the Muay Thai trucks driving by advertising the matches for tonight. But here is the main work setup. So I got my laptop over here. I'm gonna do all my work right there. That's my office. And then my roomie Matthew, he's got his fancy stand. But this is where we do most of our work when it's uh, too hot out or it's raining. I'm gonna come over to the kitchen. So we got everything in the kitchen. Actually just brewed up some coffee. I'm gonna get some of that while I'm talking to you. Get my caffeine fixed for the day. So here in Thailand, the coffee's not very good. So I actually splurged for some Italian coffee. I do gotta have my creature comforts and one of those things that I have to have no matter where I go is a nice cup of coffee. All right, now let's check out the downstairs bedroom. So here we've got my bedroom and one of the nicest things about these rooms We've got these like wood panel walls with the inset. And they actually light up at night. It's really cool. It's super high end. And then I just love the furniture in Southeast Asia, the style. And then of course, this opens up to the pool. And the bathroom, nice walk-in shower. I love the walk-in shower. So you don't have to step over the tub or anything. All right, so bedroom number one upstairs. Just beautiful doors in this place, I love it. They're all master bedrooms in this house. So we've got the nice windows. And then it goes out to the deck here in-suite bathroom in each of these. Got a closet. Same sort of bathroom as downstairs. Walk-in shower. We're gonna check out the last bedroom. So this is the master. We've got a nice chill area up here. Then we've got a bedroom and uh... a bathroom here. Alright, so here we are in the balcony. I don't know if you can see it, but the ocean is out there. It's just a quick scooter ride away, and you're on the beach having lunch in no time, getting a massage. So this is our place in Koh Samui. As you can see, being a digital nomad is pretty comfortable. As long as you have your basics dialed in, you can be just as comfortable at home very quickly. And usually I'm actually gonna stay in a much nicer place 
because I couldn't afford this place at home, most likely. But since everything is cheaper here, you can splurge a little and kind of feel what it feels like to be in the upper income bracket when maybe at home you don't get to do that. But this was our place in Koh Samoy Airbnb and I'll see you next time on Nomad Cribs.